Today we're on the island of Kashidu at the Kudamiski site. This is a historic mosque site where my team and I worked in 2018. You can see the structure there was a wooden mosque with some beautiful lacquer work, like we see on this pole here on the mihrab, and the wooden posts all around the main prayer hall. Shortly after we left, in 2019, the local community began hearing rumors that there might have been graves built under part of this modern mosque. And so the community began digging around the outside of the mosque foundations and found some tombstones. Given local religious sensibilities about that, it led the community to start excavating under the mosque. And as they excavated, they began to hit pieces of coral stone, dressed coral stone, that marked out the foundations of a much older mosque underneath the present historic mosque. And so the Maritime Asia Heritage Survey Maldives team has been invited back to Kashidu now to try and document uh, the foundations of this older mosque that have been discovered. My team and I arrived here and began the work of finishing clearing off all the finished coral stone foundations of the older mosque. And we also uh, worked to open up the well that was on the site uh, and to explore just how deep these foundations went, as well as to look at a number of the artifacts that had been pulled up in the course of the excavation. I'd like to start, though, with a big picture, pointing out the fact that if we look at the piles of fill that were inside the boundaries of the old mosque, we see very nice, clean layers of coral sand. And it's only outside the perimeter of the old mosque that we see more disorderly heaps of rubble and other bits of uh, debris that we used to fill in the area around it. We get a real sense then that when the community first buried this older mosque, a significant amount of care was taken to both preserve the integrity of the very finely carved coral stone foundations, and also to keep the interior space of the, of the prayer hall still clean. I think it shows a remarkable care that this early community must have had to realize that even though they were building a newer and larger mosque, that they wanted to keep that sacred space of their own prayer house in very good condition. So when we arrived here, we were able to see this very finely carved uh, coral stone foundation, carved out of a fine grain uh, coral known locally as hiriga. And we were able to see a rounded base here tapering off to what looked like a few short steps below. Subsequently though, we were able to clean off more of the foundation. And if we look down here, we can see that this fine hiriga coral stone is actually resting atop a much thicker base of a coarser coral stone or coral sandstone known as veliga. So we're able to go down here and see just uh, how deep the foundations went to stabilize the structure on top of the local sand and how that rougher coral was used to support this much finer coral work up on top of it. Also found just outside of the foundations of the older mosque were a number of these coral stone pillars. These pillars, we suspect, would have originally been inside the prayer hall and would have supported the wooden superstructure above, would have supported the wooden roof above. We've uh, recovered so far nine of these uh, in various parts, some outside the mosque, some uh, being stored inside. And you can see even here, this would be the situation in which most of these coral stone uh, pillars were found. Here's another one that's still in place that had been pushed inside again to the fill outside of the prayer hall. Here again, we can see the two types of stone being used on the foundation here, the very fine hiraga coral up on the top and the coarser veliga sandstone up the bottom. We can see here the layers going down to support the structure. And then just off of the corner, we found yet another feature, a circular well also framed in coral stone. Now, it's very common to find wells near mosque sites to provide water for people to perform ablutions before prayers. But the position of this well, so close to the corner and somewhat behind the entranceway, is rather unusual. 
Now the water level has come up considerably uh, since we opened the well this morning. Uh, but even from the present water level that's covering the, the stones around the well, we can see that it's much lower than the bottom of the foundation of the older mosque. This might mean that the well actually belonged to an even older structure, possibly part of a pre-Islamic site that was previously on this location before the conversion of, of the Maldives to Islam in the 12th century. The work of the MAHS Maldives team on site has included measurements, a LIDAR scan for very precise rendering of the foundation stones, some detailed architectural drawings and a floor plan, a full photo set, and oral history interviews with members of the local community who were involved in the original excavation of the site. All of this information is now being processed and will soon be made open access available on the MAHS website. We'll also be providing a very special packet of this information focused on the site and given to the Kashidu Island Council. And they will be using that information then to develop a heritage a management plan for this site and to better understand how best to manage these resources going forward.